as summer comes to an end, I wanted to share with you guys this little shorts set that I made earlier this year. As it turns out, it's a great transitional outfit for when the temperatures are cool in the mornings, but warmer in the afternoons. Let's start with the little jacket. It might surprise you to know that this is McCall's 7549. The cover model and line art present a much fussier jacket with quilting or an abundance of trim. But when you take this design to its bare bones and remove all that extra stuff, the style lines are quite simple. Because of this, I really wanted to make the few style lines it had a little snazzier. So I sewed them all as flat felt seams. This also ensures that the seams look really beautiful on the inside, just like they do on the outside. You can see that I did a little fake out and faced my jacket with a contrast fabric that I had left over from a dress I made from around the same time. The corals are almost identical and who can resist a floral surprise? But truth be told, I was making this set from scraps of fabric already. So I didn't have a lot of the coral, certainly didn't have a lot of the floral left over, so it was just a matter of using what I had. Uh, sewing in the time of Corona, am I right? <laughs> My downfall in this jacket, though, was attempting the flat felled seams in the super fitted sleeve head. There was just way too much ease in the sleeve to fit the tailored arm side for me to pull it off successfully. I mean, I think that it would be difficult enough just to set in this sleeve as is, but then doing the flat felled version of it and ended up kind of being a fail. It was my first time attempting flat felled seams and I should have tried them on a more relaxed sleeve instead of this one. I need to rip these sleeves off and re-sew them uh, just as regular set-in sleeves and serge the insides, but I just have not gotten around to it yet. Mostly because I really think I haven't had a chance to wear this jacket much since I made it. For what it's worth, I also think the upper part of the back bodice is too small, which isn't really helping where the sleeves are concerned. So a little bit of extra work needs to happen uh, in the shoulders, the upper back and the sleeve head of this jacket to make it really perfect for me. But I'm very, very close. One thing though, I need y'all's help with because I'm honestly stumped with this one fit issue. Do you see how the center front crosses at the neckline and then slowly gapes open at the hem? What is that? Is it too, it's not too small in the hip. There's plenty of ease, but why is it you know, slowly gaping open. Is it something with the fit of the bust? If you have some experience in this area, please let me know what to check for in my next version. If it's just a matter of, you know, tapering out the lower hem to kind of like fake out the center front, not actually being a straight center front line, let me know. I cannot think of what it could be. Other than that, though, the jacket is super cute right out of the envelope. The length is great, and although slim, I really do love the sleeve shape so much. Okay, now for the skirt. This pattern is Simplicity 1370. Technically, I made the shorts, which is view B, and then added the overlay with the buckle from view E. I also moved the zipper from the center back to the side seam. I had made this pattern before with a linen from Joanne that was just really thin and loosely woven and it stretched and stretched every time I wore it so it ended up getting donated. This time I think I got the fabrication right but you see the fit is off. I really hesitate pointing things, these things out to you guys because then that's all you can see and you can't really enjoy the garment just as something that I finished. But ultimately, I do think that it helps us identify what is wrong and what makes all of our makes better in the end. So hopefully you guys will be kind <laughs> and understanding and just know that like not all my makes are perfect and that you know I'm constantly working and striving to be a better sewist too. So starting with the waistband, I must have added some width to the raw edge of the top of the shorts because that waistband did not want to ease into the shorts at all. I thought I would be able to press out the waviness that you see, but it's just too much ease in that seam. I think what I would do next time is take in the back darts a little bit more and then that will 
make those two seams match up a little bit better. Next, the shorts por portion. Uh, the shorts are both too short and the back is also riding up. So the center back is higher than the center front. Uh, which I actually think is a matter of my front rise not being long enough rather than my back rise being too long. That and also maybe the back crotch curve is too narrow, um, causing them to kind of like pull toward the back. Uh, it could be a whole bunch of things. <laughs> Additionally, the overlay isn't wide enough at my hips. The curve of my hips and my bum are pulling the overlay toward the back, and this is causing a gaping along the side seam, and the overlay is wanting to pull toward the back. Of course, it is very easy for me to identify all of these things as I'm watching the video of me, you know, modeling the makes. The shorts actually feel funny when I'm wearing them, but I can't exactly pinpoint why but watching this footage back shows me exactly what I need to do for my next version which honestly would be a lot of work to fix so I'll probably just take a pair of shorts that fit very well and add on the dang overlay. <laughs> it would be a super simple hack to any uh, pair of shorts or pants that you wanted to convert into a scorch. The fabric that I use for both of these makes is a cotton twill I don't remember where I got it. It's pretty lightweight. Well, lightweight as far as twills are concerned. I have some other lightweight twill in my stash. It's more of like a purpley color that I can use to perfect this shorts suit look, which I definitely do love. The concept of it is really great and I still really like that. I'll just work on fixing the sleeve of the jacket, donate the squirt, take a bunch of lessons that I've learned from these two makes with me on to the next part of my sewing journey. And that's really all any of us are trying to do is just learn and get better and turn mistakes into lessons, which is what I have done here. So hopefully this inspires you guys, you know, to bounce back from any fails that you've had um, over the summer as we enter into this new season, new beginnings, all of that good stuff. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.